after what happened a couple of years ago, obviously I, I was over the moon and, and expecting and hoping to carry on doing that each year. Last year, it didn't happen like that at all. Massive injury came in. I just wasn't in the same place mentally and I'd lost all my coach, physios, everything. Um, thankfully, I've got it all back together this year and I've come out and I'm, I'm a world leading long jumper that's now just won his second major title. So from that point of view, I'm absolutely over the moon and, and definitely relieved as well. I've taken a bit of stick over the last year or so um, from people thinking that it was a one hit wonder and, and that was that. But ultimately, I think I've proved a few wrong and, and hopefully it'll continue. Yeah, the, the, all the rumours are true as it stands. Yeah, for me, I've got a Europeans a couple of weeks' time, World Championships next year back in Beijing, and then it is Rio again. These Olympic cycles come around very, very quickly, and I'll be looking to, to retain that title. And then after that, I'll, uh, I'll be looking forward to then the London World Championships, but on the side, I'll be trying out the skeleton bob, I think, just to see if I'm any good. I'm basically going to give it a go. If I'm awful, I won't bother with it. Um, if I'm any good, possibly when my athletics career is coming towards the end, I might try and switch over.